Morning. Morning, Mick. Morning, Ash. Morning. Come to that, Mick. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go then, Ash, you could have them. No, my friends are. I don't know who your friends are. <laughs> peace is what I wanted. A peace. A peace. Not a little olive oil. That's why I've just, I've just tried to make peace. I've just, yeah, just given you an ass. <laughs> well, Mix here. Uh, Ash is here briefly. He's um, he's off out for the day, but you'll probably see him a little bit later. Um, this afternoon, I'm going to slide in here, going across here, it's quite wet. In fact, it looks like Ash has jumped on the uh, TM, so he must be helping us out a few half an hour this morning and then going off. He's helping me now, look, putting pipes on. And he's behind us here, just picking the bales up on the 130. Try that one, it's a bit better focus. If you like this sort of thing, cows, tractors, cattle, not cows, then remember to press that like button and subscribe because um, it really helps us grow our channel. Thanks guys. These guys are all eating away now. Which is good. To those new to the channel, this is what we feed out with, the MX bucket. Uh, it's got an auger in the bottom, a door that opens up on the left hand side there. Uh, just pushes it out. It'd be nice to be able to feed down these with the um, mix wagon, that's what I'm looking for. And I'll feed onto the floor, but if you just look at the floor here, it's a bit mucky, you get that into the feed. And we've got a lot of troughs that are like the one that we've just been feeding into there. So there's no, there isn't a mix wagon that's got like a, an elevator like how the uh, how the GSCB can get it in. So, yeah, there's some things with this farm that I would like to change, but it's just working out what what it is to do and yeah, how cost effective that is. I mean, at the minute, not changing stuff don't cost anything, does it? it just costs the lost efficiency. And yeah, my pet here is not being efficient, but. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, can't, I can't quite quite work out the uh, the cost benefits on it. I know it'd be expensive. I want to put concrete concrete toffs in everywhere, but it just yeah, we're talking into like the tens of thousands of pounds to do it. So it's got a it's got a long payoff. Morning, Andy. Morning, Jack. All right? Yeah, yeah. Ooh, that's bad. That's bad. I'm gonna make a drink now, Andy. So we've just had his coffee and I'm checking around these guys. <laughs> um, so we have to be really, really vigilant this time of year. Any signs of pneumonia, feeling under the weather, then we need to be on top of it. We've given them an injection if they need it. Yeah? I don't think this fella needs it. Very friendly though. Come on, get back. Good lad. Touch wood, they're all looking all right. Yeah. So we're just getting some cows out now. My brother's here. This side of the truck. Small but fit. So we just got a load of cattle out. Um, and now the plan is, as soon as we've got Ben here, we're going to try and fetch some cattle home uh, from grass. So I'm just going to go and get the gates from uh, the RSPB, because we're getting off the RSPB today. And Ben's going to go and borrow a trailer off our friends the Cowgills. And then straight after dinner, we will get off and we'll try and get these cattle in. Hopefully they want to come in. It should do. It's getting to that time of year they want to want to come to a bag of feed hopefully so we just got to rspb old moor now we'll go and pick these gates up nice looks like they're having a bit of work done i want the digger check that out for a beast rubber duck well, that's what we call them everybody else call them a rubber duck when it's a 
excavator with tyres on. So I just got back into the yard and look who's behind me, my brother. He's just picked up the trailer from Cowgills. Andy's on the TM, he's just doing a mix so that everything's ready for later this evening when we get finished. Because we could be doing this collecting cows for a bit of time this afternoon. We've had a very rushed dinner um, and now we're going to get set off. Really we're doing this job too late. Um, I think we've got 32 to fetch back and yeah, light could be an issue getting towards the end of it. Don't really want to be fetching cattle and working cattle when it gets dark. So um, yeah. Better get down there, get these gates set up and see if they'll come in. Hoping they will. Let Ben go first this time. No point in being stuck behind me. Him and Andy have got like about four gates to open, I think, to get around there. Four padlocks, so good luck to him. This here is an old disused road. Um, it's now, I don't know how people use it to walk the dogs, I suppose. Used to be the main road between um, Bothell and Barnsley, so they took it down, made the bypass that's to our left hand side, and this just became a farm track. Best farm track ever. Always amazes me though how overgrown it's got. There's like white lines down the middle of where we are now. Just take it steady down here. Leaves on the track. Shows how nature just takes over. So we're on the reserve now and the cattle are in the distance. Last time Andrew were on here we were getting stuck, weren't you? Mm, yeah, bringing hay out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and now it's wet. <laughs> So we've got Ben following behind in the in the pickup, and if we need to, we'll swap tractor for pickup. And he's the gate man, sorting it all out. Uh, this has got a predator fence on it, not a perimeter, a predator, so stop foxes getting in. RSPB uh, put that up. In other words, the whole site is electrified, which is pretty impressive, really. It's going to cost an absolute fortune. Um, but, hey ho. So, I got one or two of them here, which is always good. They've not ran straight off. What I like about Angus, now we've just got to set up this corral, and we've got two different opinions here. We need it to go up to that gate, up to that fence get the cars backed up to it because that's where it's hard hard standing and yeah whether we open it out here and go that way or whether we open it out and go that way but i'd like to go this way seeing as the cattle are over there and come around this side to here but i might get it wrong so this is this is a good sign they're all here ish i think the rain's coming in though it's not great ben's fetching the trailer in yeah, you're all right. Plenty of room. I think. So we are now all set up with the corral. Just need to move the tractor. Put the barley in here so it tempts them to come in. I think it'll be all right, actually. And it's pretty solid there. Yeah, yeah it'll be fine. Right, cross our fingers now. Hope they come in. So far, so good. This is going like way too well. Right, can you get that gate, Ben? Steady. And it takes over. Right, we've got them in now. Just in case of getting them on. Well, that was easy. I'm glad. I'm happy at that. So I'm on the disused road now, taking this first load back. Um, we've got a few trips to do, but um, I'm glad I'm happy. We're going to get it done. 
So the first lot are going out now. That's it in there, go on. Nice and steady. Nice and steady. He's already wanting to eat some meal. Go on, that's it. Get in there. Well, these guys have had that much of a nice ride, they don't want to come off. Is it because it's the first time you've been inside in I don't know how many months? Come on, boys. Come on. Yes, you, come on. Come on, it's time to get off. Come on. That's it. They'll decide to go in a minute. Just give them time. Now they've all decided they want to go at once. Come on then, nice and steady. That's it. It's just starting to rain. Brilliant. Just what we want. Rain's no good because I've only got like mainly road tyres on this. It's got four wheel drive like but when it gets wet it's not going to be very good. Let's get back to the field. Just two more load left now. These two are just I don't know, catching up on life together while I go up and down the road. Oh, it is nice down here though. Not sure how big it is. It must be 100 and some acres. Ponds dugouts floods because it's next door to the river that's like the river bank on the left hand side there it does get wet down here well the number of cattle are going down now two more trips i think we've done it if we'd have come down with a lorry it'd have been a lot easier probably two trips we'd have sorted it but if we'd have got stuck then yeah we'd have been in trouble so i think we've done it the best way we can as I can get turned around here. It's a bit tight. Get back to up and jobs are good in. And this is what I can see when I'm backing up. Tell you what, it's hard to back up one handed with a phone in your hand. Give it a shot. It'll test your uh, test your backing up skills. Ben says I can't park there, sir. I'm gonna get it in though, aren't I? Even with a phone in my hand. Oh, maybe. A little bit more to hand there. You happy there? Look at that, eh? In one go, Andy, and recording. Am I a legend or what? Back a little bit more. Oh. I bet he doesn't even need it. Right, well. How did I need to go back even more? We're well in. The back door's the whole way in. Only just to that gate there, look. Oh, only just. What, by half a metre? That's where I stopped. Let me in anyway. Come on. Again, they're not too fussed about coming out, but anyway. They're making a mess of the trailer now. That's it, guys. Nice and steady. That's it. Come on, then. Come on. Come on. That's it. Nice and steady. Come on. Oh, he's got some some stuff on his side. Some poo. Come on. He walks a bit funny. Put you in there. And then I open this one up. And then they can come in here where they've got nice fresh straw that Andy's bedded up this morning. I can meet the rest of the mates. And then what we'll be doing as well is putting some hay um, in front of that gate so they've got loads and loads of hay to eat them. Business. Come on then guys, I need you out of here first though. Come on. Come on then. That's it. It's nice that they're fairly quiet. All Aberdeen Angus. Aberdeen Angus Cross. A uh, mixture of effers and bullocks these which we don't normally do but 
must have been just how they came. Right, on to the last load now, and then I can leave them guys putting all the gates away, seeing as they've been having a, a nice rest in between the loads. What's that, Andy? You can't come back any further, because you don't get through. Why? You, lose, you need to lose a bit of weight, Jack. Oh! He's weighing in more than me. I'm yeah. Fine, oh no, but I went. Uh, I weighed myself on proper scales. Yeah. And I was like eighty point seven five. So I must have lost like six kilo in a, a day <laughs> yeah, or an afternoon. Uh, must be my clothes. So you decided that they were the proper scales. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, so... Mind you, though, I did weigh myself on the other ones, mm. on on the ones that said I was eighty six last time, and it said I was seventy six. I think so. But ten, putting on 10 kilos, like, is a bit, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, I hope these cows are put on percentage-wise as much as what I have. The last six, come on then, boys. I don't often film as putting the cattle on because you need your wits about you. But as soon as it's the last six, and they have all been fairly kind to us so far. Come on, boys. Come on, get up. Come on, come round there, then you'll go that way. Go on. That's still one. Go on, get up, you'll push. Go on. Come on. Up, 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 up. Come on. Come on. There we go. Get the gate shut. Bob's your uncle. Job done. So I've left those guys to it now, um, just putting the last few, um, what are they called? Gates, that's it, last few gates on the um, on the trailer, I'm going to get back, drop these cattle off and then we're going to start feeding up, so um, it just needs two people to lift them on, so I was just, either one of us was stood doing nothing, so I thought I might as well just leave and get these home, better that they're at home rather than sat in the trailer. So the last six are coming off now. There we go. Get them back into the mates and uh, get that hay in front of them. A little bit of meal maybe tonight. In fact, probably won't actually. Probably just give them the hay. And then maybe on Monday or Tuesday, if we don't decide to fetch some more home from grass, we'll, uh, we'll worm them. Worm them, fluke them vaccinate them if they've not been vaccinated already so started washing that out and now we're going to jump on the tm and we're going to um get feeding up yeah i'm feeding pens andy said shall i do that mix and he was like yeah yeah ben's gonna let me in the pens so Ben's getting confused and it's not hard. Not used to a menial job like this. Yeah, yeah. So one mix done and tipped off. Andy's now gonna Oh, I wondered what we were looking at. He's gonna jump on the nine meter and start a pre-mix for tomorrow to make my day a little bit easier. Which I like. Because um, yeah, you can get a bit busy when you're having to do all the mixes and throwing up and all that kind of stuff on Sunday. Um, into a long day. So right, we're gonna get these guys fed anyway. We're all looking hungry. So we just about got everything parked in the shed now. I think I've got this cold now, Andy. Yeah, it's coming, it's coming. Andy's not being, uh, Andy? No, I don't mean Andy. I mean Isaac. Isaac. You're not my son, are you? Not, not last time I looked anyway. He's older than me. I don't know how that happened. Um, yeah, he's had a bit of a cold and not been feeling too well. And yeah, I think I've got it now. So, we're gonna get the mix tipped off. If you've liked today's video, sorry it's been a long one, but it's been cow related and that's about it really. It's been cows today, hasn't it? I'm, I'm really impressed that we got them back actually so easily. Yeah, 30 to home, ticked off. It's not rained too much, it's good. Um, yeah, if you've liked it, remember to press the like button, subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you tomorrow. Andy's having tomorrow off. It's going firework hunting tonight. Maybe. Oh, have you got your thing? I'll give you a video for tomorrow though. All right. Yeah. Okay. There Watch we go. Tomorrow's. Watch tomorrow's video. Andy's going to send in a little clip it. 
Actually, before we go, Andy's just tipping that off. I thought I'd show you the cows that we've fetched in and they're happy eating the hay. Here they are, look. How are we doing, guys? So we'll munch our way through that tonight. And we'll see you in the morning. Thanks for watching. Bye.